Hey, what is going on you guys? Welcome to Draw2. My name is Ramney and this is another episode of How to Draw. Here in this channel, I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from movies, TV shows, comics, books, and video games. If this is your first time here and you want to see more tutorial videos like this one, be sure to press that subscribe button and also hit that bell icon to get notified anytime that I upload a brand new tutorial video. Are you ready to draw? Here are the tools that you'll need for this tutorial. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper and black ink pens with different size nibs for inking. As you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause this video at any time so that you can catch up on your drawings. If you still find that this video is going way too fast, you can always hit that speed button at the bottom right to slow it down. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. Also, if your drawings look a little different than mine, that is completely fine as well. Having said all of that, let's get right to the tutorial. For this Doomfist tutorial, I've got my paper in landscape mode this time around. We're going to be drawing him pretty much just up to the waist. So let's get started. The first thing is we're going to find where we're going to draw the head. And it's going to be right around here, kind of in the center. And I'm going to draw a circle as best as I can. This big. And I'm going to have him tilting his head. He's going to be tilting his head slightly, very, just very slightly. Like this. So I'm going to draw a line going down that circle. And then I'm going to draw the two sides of the head. And then right here, the jaw. And so I've got my doom fist head right here. Okay, so now everything sort of revolves around the head. So let's get the shoulders going. And I'm going to start on the right side. And I'm just going to draw a curved line going down about this big. And then right here, he's going to have his huge, like a huge shoulder pad that goes with his huge um, doom fist. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the top, kind of just create this little curve, just like this. Okay, and then inside I'm going to create the actual size of his shoulder of what it should be. Okay, so right around here. So here's like the shoulder pad and here's the, the actual shoulder. Okay, now let's go over here, kind of below the chin here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a curve that kind of goes down it, it curves like this and then it goes straight. Well, it goes down at an angle like that. And then right here, I'm going to start drawing the chest, the top of the chest, that's the clavicle, that way. And from here, it goes this way as well. Okay, now I'm gonna find the lower part of the chest and you don't want this to be bigger than the head. So here's the head. You wanna make sure that this length right here is smaller than the head and this goes down and this kind of goes across like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this chest and then draw a line going down like this. Okay, close that chest and for the lower torso, it just kind of just goes down like that. Okay, now over here, let's figure out where we're gonna put the shoulder first. So I'm going to kind of just work my pencil until I find this shape that I want. It's gonna be a, a circular shape right around here, okay? Now this bottom of the chest kind of curves up to towards that shoulder. Now he's got his bicep right here. Also pretty huge. Draw this lightly, you guys. Okay, from that, this is where I'm going to do the back. So the back, it kind of goes like this and then down right here. So just a tiny little squiggly line like that and then an even tinier line going down. And once you reach this spot, this is going to be the start of his waist. And we're going to go from here. We're going to create this roundness going all the way to this side, just like that. Okay, just shaping it now. So what I'm doing now is I'm creating this little bump right here. And I'll explain what that is in a minute. But let's continue. And uh, I'm going to continue by drawing over these two circles that overlap over here for the shoulder and the um, bicep. I'm actually going to draw over that. So I apologize if I made you guys <laughs> do something, but uh, I mean, that's how it's supposed to go, right? Um, you, you draw it through. Okay, so here's, I'm going to create a kind of a, a rectangle. It kind of gets narrower on this side than at the top. So there's a triangle right there and it's kind of resting right on top of those two circles that we did. Okay, now right here, I'm gonna create this circle and that's going to be for well, this is, of course, going to be for the fist. 
not the Doomfist fist, but the other fist. And right here, I'm going to draw an oval that's going to be the thumb. It's going to look like that. Okay, so here we go. We've got the uh, the side of the fist right here, and then from here, we're going to draw the forearm. I'm going to start here and go out. You don't want the forearm to go all the way lower than uh, this point here. So what you want to make sure is you want to create, uh, draw this line going across. You don't want to go any lower than that. And make your forearm kind of go, okay, you still kind of see where we've got our bicep going. You want that arm to go this way. So here's the center of the forearm. And then just draw these this curve right here and then this curve and then meeting at this point which is going to be the elbow and it's all right if it is about the size of the face because i mean a lot of these uh characters are have exaggerated features so yeah this is okay for it to be bigger than the face but here you go we've got the um the left hand for doom fist and now i'm going to kind of just faintly draw where the fingers are going to go i'm just going to run a couple of lines through one two three and right here is going to be a tiny little one and then i'm going to draw a line going down right here okay so there's one fist for doom fist and let's go to uh well let's let's draw this part first before we get to the actual doom fist and i hope you guys left enough room over here because he does have huge arms that go out this way so you want to leave some room for that okay so let's go over here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to kind of draw his sash coming out from the sides from here goes out like this and here goes out this way they look like curves for now right beneath that we do the same thing almost kind of just these c-shaped curves going in like this now we've got the center here i'm going to draw a knot kind of an oval line going through like this and then on this side this goes this way and then goes down I'm going to leave it right around here. This is where I'm going to cut it off. So I'm going to draw a line down there. Here's the sash comes out on this side and then also comes out on this side like this. So here's the knot and here's like the sash all tied up and stuff. Okay. And then it goes around the waist this way and this way. And then he's got his legs. I'm going to start over here. Kind of goes this way. And well, for this one, I'm going to make it go down this way, but he's got his like tunic or sash or whatever it goes out like that and then goes in to the to this little towards the knot and right here from here goes down to there and it, it's got rips in it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to not draw it all straight i'm going to wiggle my pencil as i go up and then down that one's more straight and then just rips a couple of zigzag lines and from here at this point, I'm going to draw my line going out this way. And then here's the his pants. All right. Now he's got uh, some sort of mechanism that goes kind of on his crotch here. So from here kind of just goes behind the sash and it just looks like that. OK, so that's the, the basics of it. Let's uh, focus on that a little bit later on. Now let's get to the nitty gritty, you guys. Let's get to the actual doom fist. Uh, starting with the shoulder, here is the the shoulder, like this guy's shoulder, and it's gonna it's gonna look like a turtle shell over over the shoulder. So kind of where his ear is gonna be from here, I'm just gonna draw like this turtle shell going out like this. Here's his shoulder going in, and it's gonna be hidden. And like I said, the turtle shell just going going around all the way to the top of his head. I'm actually, I might want to bring that a little bit lower, not too big. And then from here to here, I'm going to create this triangle. It's one of the horns. And over here, he's also got another horn here that kind of curves. And to be honest, you guys I haven't played Overwatch, so I don't know what this represents. And I'm not sure if they've revealed since it is, of course, a new character. Okay, that goes like that. And then the other one, we don't really get to see much of it. Let me fix this a little bit. I actually want this to go a little bit higher this way. And I want it to go closer to this point. So, yeah, there you go. That's it. All right. We don't see the bicep on this side because he's got it behind him. But what we do see is the fist itself kind of coming out. And it's just this massive thing. 
that goes from the shoulder and just beneath the chest plate here. Like he's got a chest plate right here. Um, underneath that, and just draw this huge, massive little, or huge, massive, like forearm that goes up to here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna draw a couple of lines more. So uh, create this little rectangle here. From that rectangle, we're gonna draw the actual fist. So from here, let's see if I can figure out a way to do this step by step. Make it go up across like this. And when you have a square shape, like this almost creates a square, you draw a line this way, but you want this line, sort of, sorry, off screen there. You want this line to sort of curve like this. So it's a curved line. And then from here, kind of just goes in and then straight and then in and then in like this. So it kind of just makes these steps like this and it goes in like that. And here around this point, I'm gonna create this curve right here. And from that curve, I'm going to create the thumb. The thumb goes pretty much up to there. And then you just make this rectangle that narrows over here and then curves over at this point. Okay, now the fist, we're gonna figure out the individual fingers. There's the first one. Actually, let's make the first one over here. Let's, sorry, let's fix that. One there, one here, one here. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four fingers. This one, of course, is gonna be one like that. Okay, one more line like this, and then kind of the finger enclosed, so you kind of see this little point. And that's what it looks like for now. And we will fix that later on. So that's that's the actual Doom Fist. So now let's zoom out. And here we have the character, um, just the basic form of the character. We're gonna start going in now into the little details. So let's get started with the details. Face first. So let's get that head shape, right? I'm erasing the center line, but if you guys kind of have a hard time figuring out where the things are gonna go, uh, keep that center line. You know what, I'll just, I'll keep it back on. Here's me changing my mind all the time. All right, so let's start with the chin strap. Line above the chin here, and then it goes down here and here. Okay, uh, right here, we draw another tiny little line going up on both sides, and then line going across and then kind of makes this triangle and then goes down. See how it sort of goes up a little bit right there? Same thing on this side. But not much, I shouldn't. Don't draw too much. There you go. Now here's the mouth. I'm just going to draw this oval for the mouth for now. And we're going to draw it. It's kind of got big lips like mine. So I'm gonna draw this half an oval right here and above it is gonna be another half an oval. I'm just gonna draw it like that for now just to figure out where things are gonna go. Here is where I'm going to have the tip of the nose. You don't want the tip of the nose to be wider than the mouth, but you want it wide. Like that. And then the eyes are gonna go right around here. Okay, might need to adjust the size of this a little bit and that's okay because that's, that's how drawing is, is adjusting. And that's why we use a pencil and not a pen or or a marker because you're allowing yourself to make mistakes and it's okay to make mistakes. So here we go. This is where the eyes are gonna go. And with the eyes, I'm just going to draw. Now this is kind of hard to explain where it goes, but you just have to figure out um, where the eyes should go on your own, uh, on your own uh, faces there and make sure that they're equal distance from the center and that they kind of look like they have the same shape uh, symmetrically, right? Mirror image. There you go. Sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes it's easy. Even I myself have a pretty hard time with the eyes sometimes. All right. So half circle inside. That's just for the pupils. Try to get that right. Otherwise it'll look cross-eyed or doe-eyed or whatever eyed. Okay. Still kind of looks weird because we haven't drawn the um, the brow or the eyebrows or anything. So here's the eyebrows, just a little scowl. Line going across here and here. And 
can fix that up a little bit. Okay, I end off the brows over here and I'm just gonna create this, kind of just a, the top of the brows kind of give that little wrinkle. And then here it's just the temples that go all the way to the top. Okay, across his nose, he's got some face paint. It kind of goes over his nose like this and it goes to the side like that. And it's about this wide. And then from the eye to the side, from the eye to the side, and then from the side of the eye to the side. So there you go. I'm gonna draw, just faintly draw the cheeks on each side. I'm gonna draw just the bridge of the nose, just two tiny little lines like that. Okay, for the ears, we don't really see much of the ears, but what we're going to do is we're gonna create this um, long rectangle, long thin rectangle here and here. Make sure they're the same length. And then where the ears go, he's sort of got these, um, I'm not sure how to describe them. They kind of look like discs that look like that. Um, right along his temple, it's got a little red rectangle there. It looks like some sort of circuit here and here. But for the most part, I think we've got it. Oh, he's also got some implant or something up here at the top that go behind him. So there you go. There's a doom fist right there. Let's just fix his mouth. I'm just going to create this little dip in the middle of the, the top of the mouth here and just shape that mouth so it looks, it doesn't look like an oval. There you go. All right, you guys, so now we've got the head. Let's start working on the torso part. And the first thing, if you guys haven't already done so, is of course divide the torso in half with this line. And here we have the chest. I'm gonna create a little neckline here and here. And actually with this line, we'll work on that a little bit later. Let's uh, work on the abs. He does have some pretty sweet abs. So I'm just going to create not, they're not complete lines. And right here, I'm just gonna erase that and kind of just contour it to the abs here. So it goes in like this and it goes out again. Okay, here, with the rest of the abs kind of going this way and then up and then this way, across and up as well. Okay, now here in the back, I'm gonna draw a line, kind of just a line from the armpit area or kind of just where the, um, the chest meets this point, a tiny, or just a line going like this and then you got the rib. I uh, don't even remember what they're called anymore. These little muscles that sort of stick out over here this way. And a line kind of just going from here to this point. Don't worry about being um, anatomically correct here because these are cartoon characters. And it's totally fine if they don't look anatomically correct just as long as they look right design wise. Okay, from here now I drew a line going up this way and this way. All right, so there's the, you got the torso right there, you got the abs. He's got a tattoo or something that looks like an arrow, kind of has a square, but this side is a triangle. So there's that right there. His chest, divide that in half. And now this is going to be the robotic part. This goes across like that. And then just close it off, tiny line, and one straight line going down and one going down like this. So it kind of looks more squarish than this side. Okay, padding underneath, padding on this side. Okay, above, above this, we're going to create this triangle or rectangle from here to here, a little bit past this point to here, about this big. Okay, now you see this line that we created here kind of just follows along here, along its side, and it sort of goes up towards the neck area like this. Now he's got a lot of circuits on that side. It's gonna create a few like lines coming out with some panels here, this way, right there. And actually right here, this goes around 
or this goes up to the side to the ear part and then from here kind of just goes out towards the um, this little shell I called it a shell earlier so I'm gonna ca keep calling it a shell okay so let's go to the chest now I'm gonna double up on this line here so draw another line going down there you go it kind of creates a three dimension three dimensions to it one tiny little line angled lines and then like that okay same thing here here down and then back out all right so that's pretty much it oh yeah he's got this little whatever that is right there he's got two circuit circle thingies one here and the other one here and then beside those are these uh, trapezoid shaped things and I call them things because I don't know what to call them to be honest one there and then there's a little trapezoid over here of course it looks a lot narrower because it is sideways and it looks like that okay so there you go now we've pretty much got this let me draw another another little circle thing there uh, yeah, so we've got this pretty much done the torso part Let's go let's go to this hand before we go to this hand All right, so this is just a basic hand with well, not it's not basic. It's he's got some mechanical parts to it as well So let's start with the thumb The nail is just going to be a rectangle that looks like that don't make it oval or anything and then let's start drawing in the individual fingers shaping those okay when you get to this point here's the pinky it goes in like this and then there's that line line going down and then I'm gonna create this little line that goes diagonal okay and then from the thumb I'm gonna draw a line from the thumb to this point right here and then you've got the hand so there you go uh, there's the shoulder at the back you don't really see much of it anymore but you still see a little bit of the bicep and he does have um, an armband that goes across the bicep so two lines like this two more lines inside it looks like that and then on this side he's got like a some horns some sort of ornament with horns in it and it kind of looks so imagine this kind of going around to this side here's the like a circle part of that uh, of the that armband kind of just goes like that and he's got some horns coming out of it like this all right let's go back to the hand the forearm itself has a couple of bands of paint like war paint that's white that goes across so there's one and then I'll draw another one beneath that right here Okay, and he also has some dots. So I'm just gonna draw two there and there. All right, so for the mechanical parts of his hands, of his fingers, it's a uh, slightly complicated. Let me try to simplify it from here. So you wanna go from the center of the knuckles or center of the fingers here. You wanna go from here going back in like that and you do the same thing here. It sort of comes out and then goes back in and then here it goes in and then here it goes in like this okay but aside from that there's also this part that comes out on this side so it goes out like this like right here find the spot make it go out like that and here it comes out and it covers that part all right so each one of these has this oh, it's hard to describe it you guys okay so it's got this little ridge that goes up and then down and it makes this uh, horseshoe shape so you gotta let me try to clarify that so once you got here once you're here so here's this little point you make a horseshoe shape like that and same thing with this part kind of creates this horseshoe shape and here you create a horseshoe shape and that horseshoe shape I'm just gonna create this now it kind of looks like that 
like a crescent moon almost. And that's what that looks like. And then circle where the knuckles go. And those are actually like, they look like little dials and it looks like, it looks like the end of a, a laser gun of some sort. So you want to turn those into three dimensional discs. So work on them until they start to look three dimensional. There you go. And then you draw another circle inside them oval at this point. All right. And then here we've got some like knuckle covers. They, uh, that's what I'll call them. I guess they kind of cover the knuckles and they go from here kind of covers the knuckles like this. And it kind of looks just like these flat discs. Anyway, that's what they look like. And I hope, <laughs> I hope that's good. Cause that was hard to describe. I'm sorry, you guys, but uh, if you have it, if you figured it out, here is doom fists one hand. Let's work on the sash a little bit more, make this look less oval. Draw a line this way and then a line this way. There you go. For this thing, I'm gonna double up here. And I've got lines going across like that. Now let me zoom out. And well, we pretty much got this part done. All we have to do is the actual doom fist. So let's start on this side. Grab another pencil if you guys have another one that's sharp. From here, I divide this shell to two parts. Okay. Find a point over here and draw a line to the edge. And then go back to this same point and draw a line all the way to the ear. Okay, right here, same thing. Draw a line all the way to the ear. Okay, he's got a little panel here that kind of looks like a hexagon. So that's what it looks like. And then the horns themselves, they look like they have a this electronic base. And then the top part is organic, if that makes sense. Okay, little panel over here. And there you go. We do the same thing on this side. So, and I'm making it so that it, it has a really wide base and it gets narrow like that. Okay. Here's a panel. It's the rectangle, just like that. And one more on this side and then the horn like that. There you go. Now let's zoom out and let's start working on the forearm. Let's uh, erase these two lines right here because what we're going to do is we're going to draw them at a slight angle so that they look rounded like that. Okay, I'm gonna draw another line going through the middle. And then I'm gonna erase this part of this line at the very right. Because what this is going to be is there's gonna be some sort of cannon that's on here. So I'm gonna draw two lines going across and sort of end right there. Let's draw this cannon first, round this off. Goes all the way like that. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna create this half circle like this. And then from this point, I draw another half circle above it. And actually, you know what? You want this half circle to, let's fix that up. You want this half circle and this point to sort of look the same, like with the same roundedness to it. Okay. So from here like that, and I'm just going to keep working on this. You guys, it's not looking right to me. It needs to look a little flatter. There you go. We'll just leave it like that. Okay. A tiny little half circle here. And then you just continue from here all the way to the very end. 
you go from this side it kind of goes out this way and this way now let's go back over here i'm going to draw two lines going across and then at this point one two three things that look like they kind of look like rat poop or black grains of rice uh here round that off and here round that off as well so there you go now from here we're going to create one two three lines that go this way and then they go across all the way to this point so that's one two goes over here and then three goes beneath that okay and then let's create this line it goes like this like you see that little line now it looks three-dimensional and there you go we do the same thing on this side. So we go over here, we go up this way, go across to there. We do it a second time and we do it a third time. Okay, the second time kind of goes out this way and the third time goes out this way and it creates this padding. Looks like that. Um, on this point where it sort of bends, draw a line there and then, and then it goes out like that. And same thing over here, draw a line where this bends, it goes this way and then into the chest. Now I've got two lines here and here as well. Okay. Now the, the fist itself, kind of complicated. We're gonna try to uncomplicate it, but we're gonna start off by drawing the joint for the thumb. There's one here, okay? And then two lines like this, and then one over here. two lines going like this. Now from here, draw a line going out and then meeting over here. So it kind of goes out, curves, and then goes, curves into this one. Okay, we'll go back over here. We're just gonna draw two lines going this way. One, two, one, two. That goes in like that. And then a triangle or rectangle right there. And then at this point, this goes like this, and just goes around like that. So that's kind of the thumb looking at it from this angle. That's kind of what it looks like. All right, so now let's work on the fist itself. The fist itself actually just ends off right here. And I'm trying really hard because the, it's, it's kind of confusing on the on the reference photo that I've got on me right now, but he does have some padding here in the back. So the fist, I'm gonna close that off right here. I'm just gonna go from this line, curve it in to there, and then I bring it into the triangle, into the thumb like this. And then from the thumb, kind of just goes to the this little panel here. So it looks like that. Okay, right here, we've got this U-shape, and I'm gonna draw another U-shape inside it. And I'm gonna close that off, close off this bigger U shape. And then here I make a little triangle that looks like this. Okay, I go back over here, two lines going out this way. From these two lines, a straight line like that. And then here is going to be a circle. Okay, let's go back over here. We're gonna draw these. Okay, so these things right here kind of gonna draw them on their side. So they kind of look like this. So here's that curve, that's the knuckle line like this, that and like this. So that's what that looks like. It looks like the cap of the knuckle. And I do the same thing on this side, line there, curve, line over here, and then just that L shape. And then I do it again, looks like that. And then I do it one more time. But at this point, you don't really see much of it, so you just see that. All right. Okay, let's go back over here. I'm gonna draw this line, kind of just like that. And then now from this point, one, two, three. So one, two, three, like that. And then I just bring it out again to here. And then just create this little um, raise raise it up from the what do you call it 
uh, from how it is. So that's what that looks like. Again, here you raise it up, make it go that way. Here, raise it up slightly, and here you don't see much of it. Now on this side, here's the like a rivet of some sort, like a little joint right here in the knuckle. And then from here, pretty much just covering that. It looks like that with a line going this way. Okay, and here again, just a rectangle, pretty much you guys. That's the best way to describe it. And then the finger that is inside, like the tucked in finger, like this little part, just draw it like this and a line going through like this. And then over here, I create this kind of curve. And that's pretty much all you guys. Now let's go over here. And that's what that looks like right now. We're gonna take this, we're gonna bring it in to the thumb like this. Okay, line going across, diagonal up, or pretty much straight up, and then like that. Okay, and one more here, kind of just goes like this. There you go. A circle here. And then here you don't really see much, except you do see a line going across this way, and then it goes to there. One more line here. And then you see, kind of just, kind of looks like that. Can't describe it, you guys, it's, this is tough. Like that's the thing with these new characters is I don't know what I'm drawing uh, because I don't know the history of it because it's such a new character. You don't know much about him yet. So, so there you go. That's the best that I can do. I'm so sorry. So there it is, you guys. There's the fist. He's got some padding over here. Let's work on that. So from here, kind of goes out this way. Diagonal or straight up. And then goes this way. Diagonal and then back. Okay. Right here. It goes diagonal across and then like that. Okay, and then I do that again. And here, looks like that. Now over here, he's got some, uh, like the mechanical part. I'm gonna just draw that like a square and another square right here, or the front part of it, looks like that. Okay, and you could draw a third one and maybe a fourth one if you can see it. And then of course, over here, we'll draw like this padding that looks like this, kind of like a long rectangle, and then spikes, a spike at the top, and then the second spike maybe over here. Okay, and there you go, that is it. That is probably the most complicated part of this drawing. So let me zoom out now. I uh, forgot to draw, of course, a circle for the nipple. That's always important. And that's it. And that is how you draw Doomfist, the new character from the game Overwatch. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end of this tutorial video. I hope your drawings turned out great. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please head on over to Instagram and tag me with your pictures so that I can see them or head on over to Google Plus and post your artwork there for everybody to enjoy. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a link to those in the description below. And if you feel like being extra generous, I have links below for different ways that you can support this channel. First is my Patreon at patreon.com slash draw it to. Check it out to find out more about the rewards you get for becoming my patron. Next, I have official draw to merchandise that you can purchase, such as t-shirts, mugs, and mouse pads. And finally, you can purchase some of my art prints in my online store at draw2.storeenvy.com. Your contributions go a long way in making sure that content creators like myself are supported so that we can continue making good stuff like this for you guys free of charge. If you guys did like this tutorial, it would help me a great deal. Also, if you liked this video, commented below or shared this with your friends in social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a whole bunch of coloring pages from the tutorials that are on this channel. Again, you guys, all of these links are down in the description below. Finally, thank you once again for watching and as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial video.